Welcome to the Media Box. Christopher Chope here to talk about your reports on uh, the threat posed by transnational repression. Um, what do you mean by that? What are we talking about here? Well, in the United Kingdom, from where I come, uh, we learned about transnational repression with the Russian cases of uh, Litvinenko, first of all, and then the Salisbury poisonings, where the Russian state was trying to murder one of its citizens in Salisbury and ended up not quite killing him, but uh, murdering some other people as well. And so w people used to think, well, if you leave your host country and move overseas because you've fallen out of favour, then that's fine, you're, you're free. But now it seems that states are very keen to keep the pressure on, and that can involve assassinations, it can involve more subtle pressures, it can make life difficult for you with your, with your bank or your visa, and uh, there are various other techniques which we refer to in this report. And the report identifies countries which are the main perpetrators of what we call transnational repression. And only one of those countries now is a member of the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe, which is Turkey, because obviously Russia is no longer a member. And so the report spe specifically refers to uh, Turkey and the current events there, where Turkey is trying to use its power, transnational repression in, in essence, uh, to force Sweden to extradite a Turkish journalist back to Turkey, although the Swedish Supreme Court has already made it clear that there are no um, grounds for uh, bringing charges against this person, not even the grounds of suspicion. So uh, Turkey is now using the veto over NATO membership by Sweden as a means of trying to put pressure on, and that's another example in this report. So the, the range of tools that, that states resort to in dealing with transnational repression is, is large indeed. And my, my view is that the, this parliamentary assembly and, and the Council of Europe itself should start getting tough and setting some examples. And it's disappointing that the Turkish delegation to this assembly uh, put down amendments which were rejected at committee, which were trying to remove all references to Turkey from this report. Uh, and uh, that's, that's not the right answer because the appeasement by this organisation was what, in my view, emboldened Putin and led to the, the conflict which we've now got. So I don't believe in appeasement. I think we should uh, call these rogues states out for what they are. Christopher Chope, thank you. Thank you.